I would say it looks really tough on the back, but there's, uh, there's bigs on it. What's going on everybody? Dalt here with Lee C. Parts in the Scrap Life Garage. And this is going to be another fun video. The title of this video is just WTF. Because this is a car that I don't know why we were the ones that bought it at auction. So this thing was a local lot, Richmond, Virginia. It appears to be a clean title. We'll see when it actually shows up. If it is or not, we've had that happen where it's been listed as a clean title. Uh, and it's not. But doesn't look wrecked if the video is any indication it actually sounds like it has a cam in it obviously you can see the bigs and littles uh well not littles just bigs but uh, we're gonna get this thing off and we're gonna see what it actually has and see if there's a reason it was at a salvage auction instead of a normal auction Alrighty, so we're going to start on the bottom of this thing. We're going to put it up in the air. We're going to start on the bottom now. And the whole reason that we bought this thing, these are always giant question mark cars. Because normally if it's at one of the auctions that we buy from primarily, there's a reason that it's at that auction. And this one doesn't look too, too bad. Um, based on what I could tell, the company that was selling it is a small version of Carvana that is in Virginia. And like I said, the car is supposed to have a clean title. This is very, very interesting. It's one of the orange stitch shift knobs, which only came, I believe, in those 06 models. I can't recall the orange color off the top of my head, but they are very, very rare. So we will get that off and take a look. All right, so we got intake, headers, stock manifold. It's got a breather. It's got an 06 catch can. caliper on this side. You said it's got an 06 caliper on that side? Oh, uh, either that one's painted. I think those are 06 calipers though. This one's black, that one's red. Black and red, okay. All right, you want to put this thing up in the air before we fire it up? Let's get a look underneath of it. See what it looks like. So first thing we noticed when we were pulling it off the trailer is it's got a nice rear cover mount, but that so, looks yeah. like a factory. GPO. Yeah. So this is a it's a Hendrix Racing rear mount setup with a Harup rear cover. From what I understand, it's to make the diff stronger as far as breaking a rear mount. Well, that's, that's I guess the issue that these things have. Yeah. It's got a. Uh, yeah, it's got a nice looking aluminum drive shaft, exhaust, looks like somebody took it off-roading. Yeah, I mean, it's got a little leak from the trans here. The trans is painted. Okay, headers, seen better days, but definitely look functional. Okay. Yeah, it's got a... Uh, a crank pulley bolt up there. In the video, this thing sounded like it was cam. So, I believe that this thing should be. So, we will put it down here in a minute and we will see. Ford OOO. All right, hold on. So, I'm going to I'm going to have to edit that out. It says it says F Ford OOO, right? Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah, that's what your your little covering on the dash there says. Okay, F Ford O O O. All right, let's hear. <laughs> you got power? Don't say it. Oh my God. Uh oh. No key. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All right, crisis averted. We almost didn't get the key from the carrier. He's back though. Let's see. Yep. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. I get a I get a dead jump box. Let's see. Oh, she's stone dead.
Tyler to the rescue. Two, well, three at this point. Who's counting? Oh, yeah. Started, it smelled real sweet. Yeah, it just made my bro huff exhaust in front of all you guys. All right, they got any like check engine lights or anything? Did you smell it right when you came out? I it, it doesn't smell like pump to me. Be. It just right when it first started, it smelled too sweet. Okay. Yeah, it sounds good. You want to see if it moves? Let's watch the jump box. I mean, it has to be thoroughly tested. I was gonna say, does it have nothing? Does it got no, 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 no. Might just have a clutch, maybe? That if he gets stranded, he's leaving it. I mean, if the trans was damaged, that would make sense why it was there. Census. I wonder if it, I wonder if it's got like a hydraulic issue with the clutch. It feels pretty good though. Like huh. the release is really high. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I'll just What's that? What's that? Which it wasn't listed as flood. Yeah, no, you're right, actually. Now that you're mentioning it, there are distinct lines on it. Like it was in a flood, or like it sat in some water. That's not high enough, though. Well, yeah, I mean, that's not even getting it in. Hey, roll a little bit forward now. What do you say? Uh, hold on, hold on. Do that again, watch the wheel. Do that again. See that? Yeah, yeah I was going to say the wheel like shutters. barely even up to the, the bottom of the car, much less getting inside. Oh, that side doesn't have it, does it?
Did he not have three yeah, the vet, yeah, the vet didn't have brakes. That wasn't his fault. <laughs> so it's late in the day, and my curiosity got the best of me, though. So I took a minute to pull off the shifter stuff, which is pretty quick on these cars, um, to see what might be going on with the trans. And as you can see, this is definitely not a GTO transmission. Um, obviously it's a T56, um, it, 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 looking at it, this looks like an F body configuration. Um, we're trying to run our head through as to why it would have an F body trans in it. I'm going to put it back up in the air again. I was making jokes saying that it's probably got a Magnum F, but, um, I, I don't know why that would be. Um, and Alex was saying that the, you know, the repaint, it looks kind of like a Jasper rebuilt transmission paint wise so we're gonna have to really dive into this because this is really curious why i'm trying to run scenarios in my head as to why you would put an f body trans into a gto i mean i guess unless it was just really really easy to get a hold of and they blew the other one to smithereens where the casing wasn't salvageable but if you were going to get a rebuilt trans why wouldn't you just get a gto rebuilt trans so this is is kind of interesting and we'll do a little bit more research into this but this is why you can see we are having trouble like getting it in and out of gears and that's why because that thing is not even tightened down all the way so so just to show you guys the difference i walked over to the other unit here because we happen to have another 04 manual gto and i wanted to just confirm and you can see how much further back i don't have all the the boot and everything off of this one but you can see how much further back the other one sits all the way up into that area there and that's basically the difference between the gto's and the f bodies there's a couple inch difference so again this kind of just confirms that that is an f body trans of some sort and we're just gonna have to figure out as best we can why so the GTO uh, transmission saga continues here. So this thing wasn't going into reverse and we thought that it might have some sort of a hydraulic issue or something like that with the clutch. So we looked underneath of it. It looks like it has a McLeod clutch. And um, hopefully I'm saying that right. With car stuff, I always find it very, very interesting how certain stuff is pronounced and people say stuff differently. So I'm sure in the comment section, you guys will let me know if I'm saying that wrong. But it looks like it has an upgraded clutch. Um, so we thought maybe it had an issue and I ended up taking out the lower bolt that is on the shifter assembly here because it looked like it was grinding into the mount of the actual shifter there, keeping it from going into reverse. So I don't know if this is like an eBay shifter or something like that because this bolt is usually the same size that I see these. It's a little 13 uh, millimeter head or half inch head and it's just not clearing on there. But now, it feels like it goes into reverse. So we are gonna drive this thing and see if it actually drives better now that that is removed. It still has the one on the top bolted in really, really tight. So hopefully everything stays in place. So let's see. All right, so we we're going to go at this thing yet again. We went ahead and took out, you can see that there's an extra bolt hole now. I moved that up, which only having one bolt up there kind of sucks, but to see if this shifter is an issue or what the deal is. And I took out the alignment or the stop bolts also because it looked like it was getting relatively close to those. I don't know why they, they had them like so, uh, so like tight or whatnot because they were basically seeming like it was letting it not get into gear. So let's see if this makes it any better here. Indication of like a clutch dragging when you get it right there. 
not engaged, but the drive shaft wants to move. So, question marks continue. So the title for the GTO is here, and it is indeed a clean title, not a salvage certificate. But that is not going to change the fate of the GTO too, too much. This one is going to come apart. It's just got too much, too much in parts on it. And with the trans clutch potential issue, obviously we can't sell it without diving into that. So we're just going to take it out. We will look into it as we are dismantling it and uh, figure out maybe what the issue is. If it's a spacing thing with the clutch, do some measurements, things along those lines. So the only thing that is going to be slightly different with this is that we are going to sell this as a roller because it's a clean title. So it will be available as a roller. Hopefully somebody can maybe make some drag car project out of it or something along those lines.